Hello, welcome. I'm Amy and I'm one of the Furniture Flipping Sisters. Today I'm going to be showing you how I flipped this chair. This is what the chair looked like before and after. Originally, it was yellow, and years ago, I dyed it a pink color. And I was kind of doing everything in grays and pinks. This is what the bottom looks like underneath. I decided that I was kind of over having the swirly part and wanted to put legs on it and change the color because I'm not in my pink phase anymore. So the first thing I did was I tore off the skirts that go around and as I was doing this I realized some of the guts were falling out of this thing it's been well loved we've had it for a while and I realized yeah I'm gonna kind of deconstruct it in order to make it better and happier so the first thing I did was pull off the skirt this is the first time I've ever done this with furniture chairs but that's kind of my new thing now I'm loving it and I took off the felt that was at the bottom so I could see exactly what was happening with the springs now this chair is very old and it has kind of these I don't know they're not canvas but anyway these stripe things that were holding the springs in so I actually instead used some zip ties to get it into place because my dad used to always say zip ties and duct tape they can solve a lot of things and it's true the zip ties did the trick for me to get those springs back where they needed to be and then I took that twirly leg thing off and decided I was going to put some wooden legs on it and I'll talk about that in a minute you can see here where it was pink and the very bottom is yellow. Now I've done some writ dyeing in the past, quite a few different pieces of furniture and in this particular case I'm going to use the denim blue and I'll give you one little tip. If you're going to dye furniture it doesn't really turn out the color that the dye is if you already have a somewhat dark color underneath so you don't know what you're gonna get and this is the one thing that I say you get what you get and you don't throw a fit <laughs> now there's two different methods that you can use a salt wash or a vinegar wash depending on the fabrics and on the back of the writ dye instructions bottle it'll tell you which type you need depending on which fabric and I've used both types and then you want to get a spray bottle and I picked one up well I've picked one up in the past from the dollar store on this particular day I couldn't find it so I used Windex bottle but you definitely want to have rubber gloves because it is stain and a tarp these are the items that you need so not a whole lot required in order to change the color of your chair you can follow along the instructions on the back. I definitely like the boiled water version because that really sets it in nicely, sets the color. So I get a steel pan and boil the water and do the instructions just like it says on the back. Nothing changing. And this is how I apply it to my chair. Now, realizing that when you're spraying it on, when it's wet, it's actually darker than it will be after it dries. And it needs two or three coats to really set that dye in. Now, when I was doing this chair, it was in the spring, and it happened to be at the peak of when building supplies were so expensive because of all the shortages. So my, my legs were expensive. <laughs> And the hardware that it took to attach the legs were pretty expensive. But I just decided I wanted this update on this chair and it was worth it for me. So I went ahead and bit the bullet, bought the legs, because I already took the other legs off and I wasn't going back to swivel. Then I decided that I wanted to bling up the buttons and give it a little more pizzazz. Now, realize while I'm doing this, I'm planning on keeping this for myself. I wasn't looking at it for a flip where I would sell it on... Facebook marketplace 
that did change after I completed this project because I started more aggressively picking up free pieces wherever I could get them on the side of the road and wherever they were going on Facebook Marketplace. And I ended up with quite a few chairs. And so I needed to downsize some of the chairs. So ultimately, after I was completely done with this, I decided to go ahead and sell it. Now, as you can see, my blinged buttons are real fancy. E6000 and some gems that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Glued these on, kept this for two or three months before I decided, oh, you know what, I'm gonna put this on Facebook Marketplace. And those stuck really well. They're not in a place that get a lot of wear and tear. So this is what it looks like after. Now, because I had customized it completely for myself, it wasn't necessarily something that was gonna sell for a lot of money. So the thing that I've learned from this particular piece is you might look for free chairs and if they have good legs or good hardware, they are probably worth, worth getting for free even if it's just for the legs. Because I sold the piece for $45 and I had about $60 into it. But it got a lot of love from me and my family before I sold it. And when I finally decided, okay, it's time to please release me, let me go. My sisters and I sing that song when we're getting rid of things. <laughs> and once I decided that, I went ahead and just listed it for $45. Couldn't even remember how much I had into it anyway. And the lady who bought it was thrilled. She was just recently refinishing a guest bedroom and needed a small chair in there. So the moral of the story is you don't always have to make bank in order to have success and it doesn't have to be perfect to be awesome but the one thing that I will say is I've learned because this one was about six months ago since then I've done a better job at figuring out how much something can sell for compared to how much I get it for and how much it's going to cost me to get it to the point of where it can sell from now on, my goal is if I'm going to make money flipping furniture, I want to make $100 per piece or I'm going to pass on it, even if it's free. Because if it costs quite a bit of money to fix it up and then it's the value isn't high enough, it's not worth your effort. But if it's something that you're doing for yourself and it's going to get a lot of love from you, then it might be worth it. So I'm just trying to keep it real here. If you'd like to learn more and ha get other tips and tricks from my sisters and I, please like, share this out, and subscribe because we have more coming. Thank you.